All right, Jason, first unofficial game as a Dodger. How did it feel to put on that uniform and go out there and play with these guys? Oh, well, that wasn't uh, – it definitely wasn't a game. And uh, if you <laughs> yeah, want to call it yeah. an unofficial game – Scrimmage. And yeah. all that, yeah. Um, it was just it was good to play baseball. Um, it's been fun practices uh, you know, to this point. And, you know, it's nice to, to get in that setting. I think, if anything, um, I learned today that I took too long getting to the plate. Um, but I also said that I kind of had a, a blockade to go around because the front office was right behind the, uh, the circle right there. But, um, no, it's good to get guys out there, good to get moving around. But um, looking forward to keep building. Yeah, and is that going to be a big adjustment for you as far as getting in the box and messing with your routine at all? No, I'm just looking forward to actually seeing a clock so we know how to gauge it and, and go from there. But, you know, this game's, you know, changed since I've been in it. Um, you know, multiple times it's going to continue to change. They're going to keep doing things um, to where they think they're improving or adding something that they want to see. So the sooner we get acclimated, the better. Yeah, and I was going to ask you too about joining this team and this team's reputation, this organization's reputation, revitalizing players' careers, getting them back on track. How big of a factor was that for you in signing with the Dodgers? Um, you know, the fact that they called first, um, you know, it was a huge interest of mine. I was hoping to sign um, as soon as possible with any team that was looking to try and win. Um, you know, obviously, like you said, the Dodgers, they have that reputation for one, uh, putting winning first always, and then also giving guys an opportunity to come back and, you know, kind of revamp and be the best version of themselves. Like, that's, that's definitely an added bonus. Um, you know, that, along with having, you know, so many champions in the clubhouse, uh, those things to me go a long way when you're talking about getting ready for a season and, you know, also taking, you know, taking it more, even more, to me, one more step at a time when you talk about what I can bring to the table when I'm putting my best foot forward. Yeah, and we know that you're an elite defender and center field's really wide open this year. And there's a lot of young guys. What have you seen from some of the other outfielders that really stand out? Um, to be honest, man, like young guys on both sides of the ball, but special position player wise, um, these guys know how to play baseball. They know how to prepare. Um, no doubt experience is going to be the best teacher for them, but they're hungry. They got a lot of good tools um, to can swing the bat, can go get the ball. And you know, to me, the more they play, the better they're going to get. Yeah, and as far as the, you at the play, what do you think is the biggest key for you to really have a lot of success this year in the box? Well, for one, just uh, – continue to be manageable on a day-to-day -day basis, um, be in a good position to hit um, consistently as possible, and that makes it easier to make adjustments on the fly. That's what you know, all of us as hitters, we understand you have to do. And then right now at this point, it's just continue to get more at-bats. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, one at-bat a day is not a, a natural setup, but yeah. we will do our work and we will um, you know, make sure that myself personally and all of us will, will do more to get more at-bats throughout the day and, and throughout camp. Yeah, I want to ask you about your neighbor here, Freddie Freeman. You guys broke in in 2010. You're at the age of 20. Just talk about Freddie Freeman, where he was when you met him, to where he is now. Um, to me, right where I believe he should be, uh, playing for a historic franchise, opportunity to win a ring, and, and being right in the middle of a lineup that can do a lot of damage. And he's a consistent person. He, wa he wants to play. He loves the game. You know, baseball, to me, is, is who he is, but also – um, you know, off the field, his family, everything like that. It's awesome to see him grow into that role and, and have fun with that. But Freddie Free has been the same guy since I met him, and I think that has a lot to do with his success. Yeah, and you have a reputation as one of the best leaders in the sport. Just talk about the culture of this clubhouse compared to some of the ones that you've been in in the past. Very similar, but um, I feel like there's a nice balance. I feel like we might be a tick younger um, as far as having guys that have that experience postseason-wise, um, the champions, uh, you know, clubhouse leaders, we have a lot of guys who are pretty, pretty much around close to the same age, I feel like, which is a, a cool experience to come into. All right, well, thanks, Jason Hayward, for the time, man. Have a great spring. Okay. Thanks a lot.